this out. I was talking to Ali B and he told me that Bomb Strikes was thinking about putting a seven inch out of Swing It and did I want to flip a remix for him? I said sure and he sent over the parts. I sent him the remix back the same day. After a few revisions, the guys at Bomb Strikes were happy. Short while later, I got an email with an offer to curate Funkin' Beats Volume 9, and I said yes straight away. Growing up making mixtapes, and for that matter, making mixtapes my whole life, it's always been a dream to curate a compilation. And I've always loved Bomb Strikes as a label, so it only made sense. My approach was to try to find tracks that you wouldn't normally hear on a compilation. Shine some light on labels, artists, tracks that deserve it, old and new. Obviously, I wanted to get some music from my friends and homies on it as well, so shout out to The Allergies, Mark Hype, Jim Dunlop, Sam Kratz, G-Bag, and a bunch more. It's an interesting process putting a compilation together, because when I first started choosing tracks, I had a vision of what it was going to sound like. And then through the process of elimination, it became slightly different, but I'm still really pleased with the outcome and how it turned out. A couple of my favorite tracks from the album are I Don't Need This Trouble, Natural Self, featuring the legend, Alice Russell, and The Time Is Right For Love, the Swing O remix by Giselle Smith and the Mighty Macombos because I think they both feature two of the UK's best current soul singers in Alice and Giselle. I'm big fans of both of them and hope to work with them one day. The other track that I love is Shooter. It's a Uno. It's so chunky and off kilter, it catches people by surprise. Come on, Come on. I started mixing records in my parents' basement when I was 15. In my teens, I made beats on a four-track recorder, but I didn't take production seriously until I moved to London in 2003. My biggest inspiration starting off on my musical journey was Public Enemy. I wore out that It Takes a Nation of Millions tape. The artists that have influenced the way I make music the most would be A Tribe Called Quest, DJ Premier, RJD2, Ninth Wonder, and the Portishead Dummy LP. The two pieces of advice I would give up and coming DJs is number one, play the music that you love. People feed off passion and can tell when it's not there. Secondly, practice, practice, practice. I know that sounds obvious, but you can tell when someone is prepared and knows what they're doing versus someone who's last minute Larry and is stumbling through a mix. My plans for the rest of 2021 are to make it out live. Honestly, it's been a tough year and I'm glad to see the ass end of it. All my plans going forward are looking at 2022 and beyond. I've got a bunch of new music and new 45s on the way. Hopefully there'll be some tours thrown in there as well. Funk and Beats Volume 9 is now available on all platforms.